What's up guys, uh, Gaming for Fun here with a video review for Crisis 2 that hit uh, the UK, Europe and America, the rest of the world last week. Um, basically just to let you know my thoughts on it. So here we go, um, this game is absolutely fantastic. This has to be, well, you know, until Elder Scrolls V comes out, I think this is game of the year so far. Uh, for single player and multiplayer content, it's absolutely amazing. Plays so well, looks gorgeous. Uh, I finished the single player campaign now and literally I didn't see one frame rate drop of any kind. The interface plays so well, um, the cutscenes are amazing. You've got some, uh, some of the best ever um, lighting effects that I have ever seen in any game as is demonstrated here in this little cutscene here. So yeah, I mean literally they have done an absolutely amazing job at creating a game which a lot of people said two years ago this will never happen on consoles. Well, guess what, guys? It's happened. It's here, and it is amazing. I guess it's going to be my key word for this review: amazing. So anyway, yeah, let's get let's get back to some single player. Like my thoughts, um, you literally take the role of a guy called Alcatraz. Um, he, I don't want to ruin too much for anybody out there that hasn't played it, okay? But um, he literally procures, or he gets the nano suit armor off a guy from the previous Crisis game um, called Profit and you end up taking control of the suit and it's your story of trying to figure out what the hell is going on between humanity and this alien force called the Seth who are on earth to destroy all humanity yet again and once again you know it's kind of like you know it has to happen in America I don't know what it is that aliens have got against Americans but you know hey, it always seems to happen there so yeah, you, you get this nano suit right at the beginning of the game, you're kind of like a bit unaware of what the hell is going on, and it and it kind of like, you know, teases you and treats you into the game, it basically says, okay, right, you don't know what the hell is going on, it keeps you guessing all the time, and it's fantastic, storyline, absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, for anybody that has got the game and got a bit confused about the story, um, there is an option in the game, uh, which I will be showing you a bit later on. Uh, where you can go to flashback and you can look at uh, flashback moments in the story from someone else's point of view. So as I say, I'm not giving too much away about who that is, but I strongly suggest people doing that uh, when you unlock it because it does explain a lot of the backstory and answers a lot of questions. I know for a fact I've had like three or four people of my friends that's playing this going, dude, I don't understand what's going on. And I'm like, well, you know, check out, you know, such, such and such backstory. So, you know, so this is some gameplay here for you guys. Um, so yeah, you can do like stealth attacks, that kind of thing, using the cloak. Um, and obviously you've got power armor when you come under fire and stuff like that. You can deal with these guys. I mean, look at that. That's just that's just gorgeous when you... And I shouldn't say that about when you're shooting people, like the blood and guts and everything coming out. But it does look fantastic and it plays so well. As I said, no frame rate issues whatsoever. It's awesome. And also, all of the controls in the game themselves are, you know, are very adaptable. Um, you do have the option to customise your controls how you see fit, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, you can pick up soldiers, throw them around like ragdolls, like, get down, here we go. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you got that. And then you've literally got the option of, um, at certain parts of the game, it will say tactical options. So at that point, you can just basically press up on the D-pad. And you can basically enable uh, what's called the nano suit vision. So you can you can tactically mark up the map and stuff to find you like tactical advantages. This is where the replay value for every level in the game comes in because literally, as you can see here, as what I'm doing now, you, you can scan environments and you'll see yellow highlighted areas where it will say like you know snipe or it will say like you know climb ledge, flank enemies, that kind of thing, or you can just go all out badass on these dudes and just kick some serious butt so you know and now i'm showing you the nano vision um which is basically um night vision or thermal vision should i say and there's one of the seth guys there's one of the seth these guys are evil evil alien bastard scum that need to be blown back to hell yeah that's it get back to hell let me just grab you a second there we go throw you over there go on bye Ta -da. Mm, sweet Right, yeah, so uh, it literally plays fantastic. All right, so covered the single player, what are my thoughts on that? I'm going to show you a bit of like the unlocks and stuff that you get in the game as well. So literally here, I'm showing you, um, you get like, you get like this area here where you can basically click on unlocks and then you, you can look at like all the, all the different nano suits that are available in the single player um, and in the multiplayer as well. Now, 
Talking about multiplayer, which is what I'm moving on to next, um, you unlock stuff as you progress, just like pretty much all first person shooters now, you know, you get your custom setups. Uh, what the uh, Crytek guys have done with this game though, uh, regarding multiplayer, is instead of having like, you know, like, I don't know, 13,000 kill streaks, that kind of crap that you get in all the Call of Duty games. Now, no offense to any Call of Duty fans out there, man, you know, I love Call of Duty, but it just kind of got really boring. Uh, it's just the same old, same old, really, now, you know. Um, so, yeah, literally, you get all of these unlocks. Uh, you can look at them in what's called like a gallery. You can see what they look like. And then once, when you're playing the single player as well, you get all these unlocks as well. Well, you have to do collectibles. Uh, this is pretty much for achievements, you know. So if you're an achievement whore, there's loads of replay replayability involved in this. Yeah, so as you can see from there, literally, yeah, you've got all these uh, vehicle unlocks. You have to find emails. Just, just loads of stuff to get you, you know, going back and replaying the levels and stuff that you might have missed. Okay, this guy, th what I'm showing you now is like the profit videos. Um, so if you're having any trouble with the storyline, once you've unlocked certain parts, you can like replay all these videos and stuff and have a look at them. And then you'd be like, oh, right, now I get it. Okay. So, you know, because obviously this is a sequel and a lot of people didn't play the original. So this is a good way of letting people know how, it, you know, what the hell was going on before and what's going on now. So, you know, it's, it's, it's just a, uh, what's the way of explaining it? It's just a way of letting you, you know, kind of like get to grips with what the hell is going on. And uh, at the moment here, I'm showing you all the customization options for the multiplayer. So as you can see on the screen there, you get all of these unlocks. Um, literally, uh, there are three levels to each module. So for instance, you know, I don't know, like um, energy transfer, which is one of the things I use now. And then the more you use it, the more kills you get with it, the more you level up that perk or custom setup, as they call it. Um, so literally, yeah, the more powerful each one becomes, the more you play it. So, yeah, it's got a lot of levels to it. And here we go to the dog tags. Um, dog tags, I think, were probably introduced originally by, I don't know, yeah, obviously the Call of Duty series. But um, literally, yeah, so you get all this stuff here that you can unlock by completing certain challenges in multiplayer and in single player as well. So they're all kind of like cross-combined, which is fantastic. So, you know, people that haven't got the multiplayer, there is absolutely still tons in this game for you guys to do. So, yeah, but I, as I say, I, I, I would say it's like maybe... 60% multiplayer, 40% single player. So there's still enough there for single player people out there, you know what I mean? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to show you a bit of multiplayer now coming up. Uh, I literally didn't play too much today because I was just trying to capture like just a, a brief bit of uh, footage for you guys just to show you how the multiplayer stacks up against uh, normal multiplayer shooters. So yeah, you've got all these different weapons you can unlock and stuff. Like the thing I'm using there is the MKB-60. Uh, and that's my maximum armor there. This is on Skyline. Um, I really wanted to get a capture of, you know, a different map. Unfortunately, you know, as usual, when I went into instant action, um, pretty much everybody was just voting for this map yet again. So, you know, um, yeah, the multiplayer lobby. So uh, there was a patch yesterday as well on the, uh, on, the blah, 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 on the 30th. No, no, on the 31st of March, there was a patch to optimize servers and stuff like that. Which has uh, really sorted out quite a few key issues. Uh, I don't know if that was the same on PS3 and PC, but obviously on Xbox 360 there was a lot of key issues with migrating hosts and stuff. I was in quite a few games yesterday and that didn't happen. So just giving you a run through of how some of the maps look and stuff like that and how they play. Weapon I'm using there is the K-Volt gun. I'm going to shoot the Statue of Liberty now. <laughs> Sorry anybody in New York that's watching this. I didn't mean to upset you there, honestly. So, yeah, that's kind, of, that's kind of like my review of it. Um, what I will say, okay, just to summarize, and sort of summarize even, this game looks fantastic, plays well. There's no problems with it at all. I haven't seen any problems in multiplayer yet. Uh, single player, fantastic. Uh, I can't give it enough. You know, if I had to give this a 10 out of 10, I'd give it a 12 out of 10. Simple as that. I really would. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Gaming for Fun with my thoughts, kind of video review for Crisis 2. Check it out.